Hello guys. I wanted to share with you something that is... Um, I'm not exactly sure if I can um, give you an advice around this or... I think at this point it's more of something opening up vulnerably and that you can say that, hey, this guy experiences this too. So, one of the things that I've been constantly hearing in Christian circles regarding homosexuals or LGBT folks is that, um, which I have found so, so ignorant, which is when they said that um, gay people at the core of their heart uh, don't accept themselves and are restless in a way and that the divine core of their personality or their spirit acknowledges that this is something wrong and this is why they can't find peace and uh, honestly I could resonate with that and can resonate with that but it, it does matter who says that, you know, if it's an ignorant Christian like that who doesn't have the self-reflection to see that, hey, you fuckers are those who make up that environment, that sea of not accepting an LGBT Christian. So <laughs> an LGBT Christian has every right to feel uh, uneasy in a Christian church, which is not affirming. So... That is for that, but I just want to go ahead and, and be vulnerable here and say that I, I did experience that in romantic relationships <clears throat> even, that when I wanted just to be uh, very intimate and peaceful, that that notion came up that, that I'm not supposed to be here, um, this is wrong, and... Um, I was very scared of that thought. I was very scared of that feeling. And uh, first of all, I just want to sh uh, share with you that yes, I have experienced that and that maybe I will continue to experience that. And still, it doesn't mean what those ignorant Christians said that this is something that, um, that this divine uh, core longs for heterosexuality. Um, I mean, I'm just scared and uh, pissed off at the same time around that thought and yet I have the courage to step close and embrace those anxious feelings and that is it really I just wanted to share with you that this is something that I have experienced and I can live with and uh, I challenge you to do the same and to draw near uh, because in intimacies where we can experience God, where we can experience our spirituality, and it's worth it. So, uneasy feelings are just part of the experience. By the way, not just for LGBT folks. So, be encouraged. Life is a process. Uh, scary emotions or thoughts are just part of the journey. And you'll get through. I cannot promise you that you'll get the answers, but I can promise you that... Uh, God is who he says who he is. He is love. He loves you. Be blessed.